I have a problem. <laughs> I cannot stop creating free DaVinci Resolve presets for all of you. <laughs> I've released a number of free presets and templates, and every time I work up a new free preset that I think is pretty cool, I have a moment where I think, hmm, should I be charging for this? And I consider it, and I think about where to put it up and all of that, but in the end, I just think, nah. I'll just give it away for free. So we're here, and I have another free DaVinci Resolve fusion effect for all of you. And I'm very excited to show it to all of you, but first I want to tell you that there is a very exclusive group of people who had early access to this preset, and those are my YouTube members. This is my first YouTube video since I've turned on those YouTube memberships, and I am looking for ways to pack those memberships full of value. So if you're interested, you wanna learn more about those, check out the join link right below this video. But right now, I wanna jump right in and show you my new master shake effect. All right, so we're here in DaVinci Resolve on the edit page, and the first thing I'm going to do is create a new text plus effect with just some sample text. Now, I've released two videos now on how to make shaky text. And the systems in Resolve for that are pretty powerful and you can make some pretty amazing looks. But I was thinking about that process again and I decided that I wanted to package up some of the unique power that I used in those effects into a single shake effect. Check this out. Okay, so I have this sample text and then in the effects page of this effects library, if I scroll down, we now have SSC Master Shake. This will be, of course, after you download and install it, but I will circle back to that later. But if I take this Master Shake effect and drag it on to that text plus node, you'll see that by default, nothing changes. But if we click that, come over to the inspector, jump over to this effects tab, you see that now we have this unique UI. And at the top, you have three check boxes for position, angle, and scale. And if we turn on any one of those, what will happen is it will introduce some shake on that parameter. So with this first checkbox, you just have it wiggling around in position. If I uncheck that, but check angle, you see here I have it rotating around, wiggling on that rotation axis. And then finally you have scale, which is sort of pulses in and out. And if I go back to position, you'll notice that underneath these, you have drop down menus for each of those. If I open up position, you have X and Y scale. So if I want to pull those down, then you'll see that now that shake is much more confined to one area. And then you have a set of strength, wobble, and speed controls. You have these for all of these drop downs. And these are controls that you get when you use the perturb modifier that this effect was built on top of. So when you're working with position, strength sort of plays with this X and Y scale. If you pull up the strength, it will just wiggle further away. Pull down the strength, it will be a little more confined. Wobble is how often it changes directions or shifts in the other end of the spectrum on whatever parameter you're working on. And then speed is just the speed of that movement. So if you crank up speed, crank up wobble, but your X and Y scale and strength are low, you'll get this really frantic shaking, but in a small space. If you pull up strength, then it'll be really frantic as well, but it will be all over the screen. So it's just a balance of all these different settings to get the look you want. If you pull down speed, but you have wobble up as well, then it won't be as frantic, but it'll just be roaming around the entire screen, shifting pretty quickly because that wobble is high. But if you do the opposite of that, wobble and speed low, then it will just sort of drift around the screen. And of course, if you uncheck position and go to angle, in angle, you have similar settings. You don't have X and Y scale, but you just have this one value. And in both angle and scale, this value will be your starting point. By default, this strength on angle is 90, so it will rotate 90 degrees back and forth. If you pull that down, then you'll just get that little, little wiggle, and again, wobble in speed for how quickly you want to change direction and the overall speed of the effect. And then finally, we'll check out scale. Again, it just sort of pulses. This by default is a little more relaxed, but again, you pull up the wobble, you pull up the speed, and you'll get some pretty crazy stuff. And the big strength of this effect is you can combine any of these. 
If you check position and you have it roaming around the screen, you can also add angle on top of that. So as it roams around the screen, let me let me pull up this strength back. As it roams around the screen, it's wiggling, and then you can toss scale on top of that. So it's it's pulsing and wiggling and roaming around the screen, or any other combination. If you just want position and scale, you could do that. And then underneath all of those, we have master settings. And after whatever shake you want, we give you a final center data if you want to position this anywhere on the screen or even keyframe this if you want it to wiggle and rotate and scale up and down but in general you want an overall path you can do that here so you have a master center control and a master size control then you also have this reseed button all of these are random and the way this program does it is that it gives it a random seed it generates a random number and that is how much it affects all of these coordinates so if you have a general look you like if you like the motion and you like the strength of the effect but you just want it to look a little different in any moment if i wanted this but say this was over video and i want it to be in a different part of the screen if you click reseed it will just reshuffle these random values and now it will randomize its position and scale and rotation but still with the same controls driving the effect. And then finally, underneath this, you have motion blur, especially if your shake is moving around the screen and it's pretty crazy. If you don't have any motion blur, it can't always look the best. So you can toggle this on and then you'll see when the motion is the most exaggerated, you'll get this simple motion blur. Now, I first demoed this on this text, but remember, this is a fusion effect. So you can drop it on almost anything on the edit page. Let me pull in this little Mario graphic here, and I'll just scale this down a bit, but then I can come over to my effects, grab this master shake, drop it right on, and then if I go to my effects, I have those same controls. So now we can have Mario rotating and scaling around with motion blur all around my screen with just a few clicks. This is pretty extreme, but I think you get the point. And of course, as expected, you can also do this on video footage. If I have this standard gameplay footage, I can also drop the shake on there and it will shake once I turn it on. It will shake the entire footage all around the screen as much as you want with a few clicks. All right, to wrap up, I wanna to touch really quickly on installation. I'm using a new method going forward for installing all of my free presets. And this is built off functionality that came out in Resolve 17. Point two. So if you haven't upgraded yet, I do recommend it. Although if you don't want to upgrade for whatever reason, you can use um, any of the other past methods for installing presets. Those will still work. If you follow the link in the description to go to my buy me a coffee page and get this new master shake preset, you will be able to download this, this master shake Dot drfx. Now this is just a plain zip folder that I have renamed. If you don't want to install it with this method and you need another method, you can actually just click here. And if you change this suffix back to zip, it will be recognized as a normal zip file that you can then unzip like normal and drag in the effect like normal. But once it has this drfx suffix, to, this is able to be recognized by DaVinci Resolve. And with the Fusion page open, you're able to just drag this DRFX file right down here into your nodes viewer. It'll give you this pop-up, do you want to install? Click install. And if you navigate over here in the effects library, down to templates, edit effects, if you scroll down, you should see this SSC master shake with this little custom thumbnail as well. Now, if you go to the edit page, and open the effects library under effects. It won't show up yet. This method does currently require you to restart DaVinci Resolve to recognize these new files. I hope this gets updated, but if not, it's just a quick restall and you should get back up and running. But once you do restart Resolve here on the edit page, in your effects library under effects, you will see that SSC master shake and you can drop it right on to any image, any footage, any text, and just customize it away for exactly whatever shaky look you want. As always, thank you so much for watching. I think this tool is pretty interesting and can be pretty valuable if you know exactly what kind of look you're going for. You can just drop this on, click a few buttons, dial some sliders, and you have the perfect shake for you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.